what I'm going to do here is write out the real space um, profile of our pump beam. So that's some shape to the pump beam that I'll call P0 of R, which is radius, times a train of pulses in time, right? So it's this thing is transient in time and only appears at certain points. And then it's modulated by a sinusoidal component um, at frequency FM, which means modulation frequency. So that middle term represents a train of pulses. Um, so, you know, like spike, 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 spike at different times. And the back term basically represents a sinusoid. Now, you might ask yourself, why am I only writing a sinusoid and not the other components? Well, I could write other components, right? So if I'm trying to represent a square wave, so really my electro-optic modulator uh, modulates by a square wave, but I can think about a square wave as a decomposition, you know, I can decompose that into Fourier components, so Fourier series as opposed to Fourier transforms. And what I'll see is that two things. First, the, the, the corrections to the main sinusoid don't appear at the modulation frequency. They appear at other frequencies like 3F and 5F. And that's important because that means that these things won't show up on our lock and amplifier that is ultimately going to look at only our modulation frequency. All right, so that being said, I'm going to try and take the combined Hankel and Fourier transform of this expression. Um, if I take the Hankel transform of a Gaussian, I get another Gaussian. Um, for the moment, I'll just call it P0 of K, which is meant to represent the um, Hankel transform of P. Next, I'll take the Fourier transform of the Dirac comb, or the series of pulses. Um, it turns out that's one that you can look up at, say, Wikipedia. And it also turns out to be a train of delta functions. It just happens to be in Fourier space instead of in the time domain. And lastly, I'll take the Fourier transform in time of the sinusoid. Actually, it turns out I don't need to do that. Um, what I'll do is I'll use the frequency shift property of the Fourier transform, which basically says that when I have a function in real space that's multiplied by a sinusoid, then the combined Fourier transform is just frequency shifted from the Fourier transform of the plane function by itself. So then if I put all that together, I can write out the combined Hankel and Fourier transform as the Hankel transform of the spot shape, um, and then this um, combined Dirac comb um, that has this weird offset in frequencies. Um, and then the next thing to do would be to actually take that and plug it in um, to our other equations for the average temperature that had the pump um, Hankel transform in it which I'll do next.